it's interesting because because that's the first time Homelander has ever really uh, felt physically threatened. Mm. William Butcher, and Soldier Boy. Yeah, it was uh, it was always, it was a challenge to do those sort of things, but um, I mean, it's ostensibly a dance. It's it's choreographed one hundred percent, and we had the great benefit um, of, of working with a, our new stunt coordinator, John Koyama, who brings uh, an amazing uh, pedigree of experience and knowledge to the table. And it was fun to sort of dive into the minutiae of how those characters, what their fight styles would be. And you know, you you train for weeks and then you get in there and you just try and try to execute it in the least amount of takes possible. <laughs> um, and um, for the sake of yeah, your own body. Yeah, yeah. Was, yeah. It, it, exactly. Listen, you, you know, any any single time you do a fight sequence, you come away with bangs and bruises, and this was this was no exception. But Homelander and Butcher are really like two sides of the same coin. Um, they have very similar arcs, you know, in episode one and in episode two. You know, they both feel like aggrieved and and their steam kettles are boiling and then they both finally explode in their own ways. And in many ways, they're like the two poles of the show. You know, it's sort of like, we talk about them sometimes as Superman likes Luther or, or Holmes Moriarty. Like they're like the two centers of gravity. So in their obsession with each other, it's sort of inevitable that they start to kind of take on, you know, some of each other's traits. It's interesting because because that's the first time Homelander has ever really uh, felt physically threatened. Mm. Um, the first time he's ever his life's ever been in in true jeopardy. You think you look strong? You're wearing a cape. He is the the embodiment of toxic masculinity from generations past. So even though Homelander has uh, has his own demons that that we clearly see and he deals with. Um, Soldier Boy is is different. He is he's coming from a, a a much older generation, and all of the the issues the that have been talked about and certainly brought up, and I feel like we deal with much more uh, openly on a, uh, as a society now than we ever did back in his heyday. Uh, so he's not understanding how to necessarily deal with people being so open about maybe their feelings or open about, you know, whatever it might be. And you're just a cheap knockoff. Oh, no, no, no. It was pretty laborious doing that sequence because it's, it's, it's just physically demanding in that suit. <laughs> but it was great, you know, it was a real, it was a fun time doing it. And, um, and I like where it takes Homelander for the rest of the, uh, the season, you know, it sows another level of insecurity into this guy. Why is this happening to me? Now he's got to think about another thing, which he didn't have to think about before, which is that not only can he die spiritually and emotionally, but now physically he might be threatened as well. So he's going to have to, moving forward, he's really going to have to think about that as well. And who knows what that might mean. <laughs>